Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad y'all are still tuned in. Y'all are here in another video. Whenever I tell y'all that I've been feeling the Holy Spirit a lot lately and throughout this week, I've just been feeling like the conviction, the Holy Spirit over me and it's just like a beautiful feeling. Like there's nothing having the Holy Spirit in your life and throughout your day, whenever you start off strong with God, then the rest of the day carries with god we are going to be talking about that mostly how we keep god throughout our days every day and how we get to closer to him and we have to make wise decisions every day that will reflect god you start to feel the power the grace of god over your life because god is awesome all the time he wouldn't tell us to do something that won't keep us safe that's why having a relationship with god is so important with you every day you are safe you have a understanding and a peace that you are safe no matter what happens and you are at peace of who god is and who he wants you to be through him and not just of yourself because if we do it our way we're gonna end up failing but if we do it god's way of course we're gonna have more progress we're gonna have more of a good outcome so matthew chapter 6 verse 33 it says seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you and that bible verse is actually so powerful it actually holds so much wisdom to knowing that God, we have to put him first in our decisions and that's how we make right decisions because if we put God first and we're like, okay, God says this, I'm not going to do this other thing because God says this. So many people in the Bible knew about Jesus, you know, they even heard him speak, but it was Jesus' disciples who knew him better and who knew him best because they lived with him. They walked with him every day and that's like the same thing with us we get to know people more by hanging around them more how do we have a genuine relationship with jesus in our lives to walk with christ daily like what does that look like now we don't just know of him but we know him as our father and as our lord and savior yes we can know jesus we can know about him we can know these things but if we don't live with him if he we don't have him living in our hearts in our lives daily and we're not using the tools of resources and applying it to our lives we don't really have a genuine relationship with him because we're not actually taking it accountable we spend time with him we set aside each day you know reading praying each day when we can read the bible without any distractions it's crazy how all of a sudden the devil he'll have no distractions all of a sudden you'll be tired whenever you're reading the bible you know and i'm speaking that because i know because i've been there and all of a sudden you get distracted but that's why it's important also to pray before you start reading the bible you're locked in and you're zoned in into god's presence prayer having powerful encounters with god you know talking to him what's in our mind what's in our heart whenever you read the bible it's good that you pray and that you actually understand the bible verses because sometimes they can be a little hard they can be a little bit difficult to understand but taking the time to really understand what it's saying you can relate this bible touches in this certain situation in my life and even after saying amen after praying grow that prayer and throughout the day that shouldn't just be the ending you know you should have just five or ten minutes or just an hour to god each day but you know it should be throughout your day because guys even like the little things they may be simple to us but they're actually big big encounters and they touch really big in our lives and to god like people who like really love you who really care about you you know you don't have to go to a whole fancy restaurant you know it can be like the little things you know and they still will be appreciative of that that's how god is too in our lives it can be the littlest things you know saying like me for example i sometimes say like oh lord take the will you know whenever i like i get upset or something i you know randomly just say that and yeah i may sound funny or whatever it's just little but like that's having god in my life instead of like cussing or whatever you know i'm simply saying lord take the will because jesus he really needs to take the will it reminds me that god is in control so it can be like the littlest things like that and that means a lot to god because it shows that you really want a relationship with god that you're not just saying things or whatever but you 
are taking it into your life and you're applying it to your life in every situation that you go through and, and wherever you are so keep the conversation with god all day whenever you first started talking to your boyfriend or your girlfriend you know whenever y'all are in that talking stage you wanted to talk to them all day long whenever you first started getting to know them you wanted to talk to them throughout your day like you want to keep checking on them you want to make sure if they eat and or whatever you know literally the same thing with a relationship with god in any relationship that you have there's always progress you know you're always going to keep it moving forward you know you're not just going to stay stuck in this fight hi i like you no you want to be like okay like i see you like i want to get to know you you know same thing with god you know you know god you want to get to know him you want to live with him in your everyday life you know because you just love him you just want to know him more another example can be to like whenever you see a beautiful sunset you can literally say the simplest things like thank you god for your beautiful creation so you're glorifying god even in that glorifying god in everything too shows that god you really do love him you know because you take appreciative of the little things glorifying god is also being thankful to god that's how you show your gratitude and your thankfulness is just by simply glorifying him in the little things if you're nervous about school i know you know i know school is coming up that is a huge big thing for i know a lot of people don't be nervous you know because when you're nervous you can be like god i'm nervous please give me the strength to do this make me brave make me bold make me be confident in who you are because no matter what this world says i know who i am through you see guys whenever you have a walk with god when you're walking with god whenever instead of just saying oh i'm gonna do it my way i don't care if people like me or not um no i'm this way because of who i am then you're end up at school or whatever you're gonna end up being like dang like look at how they're looking at me and stuff you know but whenever you're with god you know you say i'm a daughter i'm a son of god and that shouldn't matter to anybody because that's the best person i can be you know that's the best person anybody can be you're not worried you're not stressed because you know god's got you but whatever is happening in our lives and throughout our day whether we're at a job whether we're at eating with our family whether we're at the restaurant the gas station so we gotta share it all with god you know whenever you're talking to your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whatever or your friendship you know you're literally sharing your day with them like going through your day with you you know because you are sharing like what y'all eat like when are y'all gonna sleep are y'all gonna take a nap you gotta share everything too with god because when he gave you this life you know every day he has given you we are away another day is a fresh start and he has given us every second every minute of our lives so we should be able to share with him and that's how we grow with him too if we just stay in like one moment of oh i love you god like that's it and then the next you're not on fire for god the next you're just like doing whatever suddenly just forget about god or whatever and yeah there's gonna be times where you may forget god forget about you know praying about your food or whatever but that's why it's important for other people to tell us man don't forget to pray for your food that's having good relationships that's also how you become christ-like that's how you become like a christian a christian means to be christ-like by allowing god to be a part of your life be a part of who you are that is it for this video but before we end this video i do want to pray i want to pray over this video i want to pray for y'all guys lord jesus please help us to be more like you to have you in our day everyday lives god help us to become more christ-like to have the gifts in the holy spirit to deny ourselves daily jesus i ask that you just help us that we will pray that we will serve you that we will worship you that we will glorify you in our everyday lives and thank you for you always being with us every day and give us a discernment to say no to the things of this world but say the yes to the things to you god and thank you for every day of my life for every moment to be with you to be with my friends to be with my family and jesus name i pray amen so 
guys don't forget to comment like share whatever also i am doing a giveaway it's literally so simple all you gotta do is like my my recent post and i have one for a guy and for a girl and so don't forget to do that um i still want to be giving away my giveaway because i want to show y'all my appreciation and my love for y'all supporting me because god has gifted me to give back to y'all and i just want to do that with love thank you guys so much keep praying for me because i love y'all so much and jesus loves you so much and that is it <laughs>